All right, it's Josh. I'm Josh back with another video. Welcome to my channel. I'm back with another one anyway video. So let's get into this. Um, make sure you turn on post notifications and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I will be posting more bangers, more good videos. So we will get right into it. So basically in this video, I really want to tell you guys how to lay down your waves effectively. And what I do on a daily basis is just get, make, make sure my hair is like laying down really, really nicely. So uh, one of the first things that you want to do, because we're going to jump right into it. Like one of the first things you want to do is make sure you have a good pomade. I always say this, but it just gets thrown under the rug for some reason. I have a lot of guys not using pomade at all. Like I don't really know what's up with that, but like having a good pomade, I always use a gold sport wave. That's just the way to go. But basically, as I always say, it's a memory card. So basically, when you get done with your brush sessions, you can use the pomade and it helps lay down your hair. So you won't have like frizzy hair with her. And um, I'm gonna actually show you too, but like you wanna make sure you're having something like a pomade. And then if you don't have a pomade, like that sporting waves, you can get something like 360 style, but it has to be something to hold your hair down. It can't be like a leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioners work, but that's kind of like more for like the quality and healthiness of your hair, which is really good to have too. But you gotta use a pomade, like just so it can lay down, you know what I'm saying, lay down real good. You know what I'm saying, you want it to lay down. So just so you have that, and it stays right, and it stays in the same place throughout the day, you gotta have a pomade. Uh, that was one of the problems I was having, I think in the beginning, just to like relate to you guys, was that I was noticing my hair wasn't really lasting, I always wasn't lasting throughout the day. like. In the sense of it being laid down perfect, nice rough day. I just feel like sometimes it was just too frizzy, or I feel like I needed to get it cut all the time. So to cut down on that, haha, <laughs> but the, you know what I'm saying, cut down on that is I use a pomade pretty much daily. Um, it just depends on how much you wash your hair, but for me, I use it like every other day, or if I'm going somewhere nice, if I'm going somewhere well, I'm only saying I want to put in the extra effort, like I'll put it in. So it's, it's nothing wrong with that. I don't use a lot. Uh, I could probably even show you guys how much because I stand. I always stand by this product. This product has always been there for me. So, so yeah, this you know what I'm saying. This is the sporting ways. I know you guys all saw this before. Like you've seen this in the store uh, at some point. But it, basically, this is just a pomade. Like pomade is very, very important for waves because if not, your hair will curl up. Like lines. If I don't put this in, it's gonna curl up and it's gonna get too wild to maintain. But you know what I'm saying. Just so. You are um, you're you up on game. You know how to use it. You just gotta use a little bit. Like just really put it, like a little bit in. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I can actually put a little bit in now, but I just really get like a like very little. Like I don't I don't use too much of it, but it lasts throughout the day. Especially if you use it consistently. Like you use it like every other day. You literally don't have to put like none in. But. Uh, but you do this, you can put this in like, depending on what your routine is, like kind of like what your goals are for your wage. If you want your hair down, laid down exceptionally well every day, you, you could put a little bit more in it, right? But if you're doing a brush session, you can put it in after the brush session too. So it just depends. And then how often you wash your hair. Because if you wash your hair a lot, then you could put more in because you're just gonna wash it out and then like reapply it and stuff. So for me, I do every other day just because like, I don't really wear as much hats as I used to because I'm like, you know, I get my hair cut and everything like that. So it's like, I, I want my hair to be on point, like on a daily basis. And then, you know what I'm saying? When I get a cut, I want to make sure it looks good. So with that being said, you just put, you just put it in. You know what I mean? Like you just, you see it, it's just laying down. And it's like, you know, I don't have like straggling hairs pretty much everywhere, you know? So it's very important to put it in. Important to put it in. Um, I just really wanted to like tell you guys because it's like a lot of guys just don't use it like I don't really I don't get that But uh, no matter what hair texture you have you want to use it because you want to lay down your hair You don't want like random strands st sticking up or you don't want your hair to frizz That also helps with frizz like a lot like that's really um, Some a problem I might have with natural products is that because it's so good for my hair It's healthy my hair just kind of feels like it wants to do like a free curl like it just does this curl thing on its own or it just it kind of loops up sometimes. Um, so to cut down on that, you just put the sport waves in, use it on a day-to-day -day kind of, you depend on you know, what you do. 
And then if you're in sports, you, you might wanna put it in like a little bit more, but yeah, you put that in, put a do-rag on, and it just saves it and it locks it in, like it locks it in real tight, especially it locks in the pattern. So uh, with that too, what I wanna get into, like with uh, my 180 wave guys, my 360 guys, people who have like a lot, a lot of waves, you gotta use that because it's gonna, like the pattern is the most important thing, especially if you're going from 180 to 360. You are not gonna have an easy transition from 180 to 360 if you are not using a palm aid, guys. So I'm telling you guys, use it. Don't be afraid to use it. And you can always wash it out. Like, always think of it like, you can always wash it out if you use too much. Uh, you just gotta get like a damp washcloth wherever get it out. But you know what I'm saying? You can always get that out. So whatever you feel like is permanent or it's gonna mess up your hair, it's not. So uh, that's, that's really what I do. That's really how I make sure it's laid down, especially for the back too. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing a brush session, you can't really see everything, especially throughout the day. Using that plus a glue rag and then you take it off, it stays throughout the day. Like it has a maximum hold. That's why I tell you guys get the gold one. It has a better hold, better consistency. It lasts a lot longer and you're gonna notice results a lot quicker too. And then to explain why you notice, uh, explain why you notice um, revert, uh, <laughs> to explain why you recognize results more quickly with that one is because the hold is most important, right? But also like throughout the process of you using it, your hair is gonna become trained. Like I always say that too, it's like just, you want your hair to be trained because when you get a cut, you're gonna notice the waves, but it also lays down all curls. Like if you, um, you know what I'm saying? If you have a coarse or a medium hair, our hair is very curly, you know what I'm saying? Like so, we literally don't do anything after a certain week, amount of weeks of it of us growing it, it gets curly. So you want to have something to maintain that, something to tame it, and that's just like the best. So I recommend you do that. And then also to make sure you use the do-rag. Um, the do-rag is very, very important to make sure that you're not messing up at night. So definitely at night, don't go to sleep without wearing it. That's, that's just like a simple rule that most of y'all know. But just in case you don't know, every night just make sure you wear it so that way you won't have any issues. Your hair won't be all over, your pattern will be more consistent. So brushing is definitely important for your pattern and everything like that. And then the sport ways is good for laying down a pattern, but the do-rag just sets in a pattern so it doesn't mess up throughout your day-to-day -day activities. And then when you wake up in the morning, you have a fresh start, you know, so your hair is laying down, and then throughout the day it may lift but it's not gonna frizz because you know, you're using the proper routines, techniques and everything like that. So it just works out. So just look at it that way. And then also to like, never be afraid to uh, get a trim. Like if your hair is like, noticing it's too wild, you don't have to scalp, like you don't have to cut everything. Just trim it down, do a nice trim to get all like, you know, like if you feel like your hair is too frizzy or it's not really laying down as well as you should, just get a trim, don't get too much off. You can go for like a three or whatever like that and then retrain your hair again. So that way you can use more sporting waves, lay it down a lot easier, get a better routine that works better so you don't have to keep cutting it, then you can wolf longer. But before that, get a trim. You don't, you don't have to cut all your hair off, you don't have to start over. Just do it that way, you know what I mean? Because I feel like you'll waste a lot of time, or you know what I'm saying, a lot of effort that you put in before if you cut too much off. So you don't want to cut off too much progress because under that frizz, it is waves. So you might not be able to see it or it may not be sh like shown as clearly, but it's still waves under that. So just remember that, like you don't want to go back and then go forward and then go back again. So just think of it that way. And then also too, you know, the routine, you stay other day on the routine. It's an everyday thing, man. Like. The waves, you don't really get to sleep much, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta really be on it, especially if you're getting ready for summertime, different things, maybe in a pool. So your routine has to be solid, it has to be tight, because you just, it, it's a lot more elements, I think, during summertime, or like when it's a little bit warmer, because you might sweat your hair out. So just think about that, your routine, you can't skip a day, you know, vacation, sports, all that, you have to be 10 times better on it, and then you may also have to get more cuts because your hair just might get frizzy based on the humidity and everything like that. So just keep that in mind. It's not too much of a hassle, but it does become a hassle when you're new and you're not really understanding what you're doing or what, you, what steps you're missing and everything like that. So just think of that and then brush and you, you, you'll be good. I think that's it, yeah. After that, brush everything in, you know, and then uh, you can always add a leave-in conditioner. That's if your hair, 
feel like you need more moisture, it's a little bit dry. But if your hair is not dry, you really don't need too much leave-in conditioner or you don't have to use it as often as, let's say, the next guy. But if you notice your hair is dry, you know, just put that in it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's natural. Um, I did use Cantu. Cantu, Cantu is still goaded. Like, it's not, the Cantu is not as natural, but it's still goaded, so don't forget that. Like, but, you know, you can experiment with different types of leave-in conditioners to get the look that you're looking for personally, because everything is based on what you want, the style you want, and how you want it to look. So, you know, you can just figure out what you like, what's the best. So, you, uh, you be pretty much good. So, that's the end of the video. Just want to give y'all a quick refresher. I know this may be information that you already know, but just to make sure, I know it's getting warmer, you know, you're kind of more relaxed. You know, a lot of y'all aren't are in school, so just kind of remember you got more time. Make sure your waves are goaded, because you know what I'm saying? The women do like the way I'm telling you. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys like the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back again with my next video. So, I'm out.